Hey, good morning and welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. I want to share with you guys how I turned my shop into a paint booth and it really wasn't that hard. If you've got a project vehicle, you're thinking of painting something yourself, that's one struggle you run into is where on earth do I paint this? It's really not that hard to turn a shop or a garage into a paint booth. Let me share with you guys the design of how I did that, some tips and tricks coming up. Now, if you're creating a paint booth, there's really three like primary reasons why you want to do that. First is the fumes. I wanted to keep the fumes uh, consolidated in the shop and then have a nice exhaust vent to take them outside. Don't want those fumes going into the house. Reason number two is dust. When you start spraying, the particles in the air, they'll settle on everything. I wanted to keep the dust off my tools, off my TV, just from getting everywhere. The third reason is obviously overspray. I don't want paint overspray getting onto the shop floor, onto other things. So those are the three, three reasons why I wanted to create a paint booth. And as you can see, I have it obviously draped off nicely, separating my garage and the rest of my house from the fumes and all that dust, but also back here in the corner I have a gas water heater with a pilot light and I don't, I really don't want to blow myself up, so I want to exhaust all those fumes out the uh, garage opening on the front side. Also, as I mentioned, I want to keep that dust off of everything. That paint dust, it'll get into every little nook and cranny, and I don't want all of this covered in dust. So here I have a big sheet of a heavy mill plastic. I'll be sure to link in the description below some good plastic drop cloths that'll work for this. This one is actually 25 by 20 foot, and I'm gonna cut it up into sections that it'll fit in the shop nicely. My shop is about 10 feet tall, so this was able to be cut up into some nice sections. Here I'm hanging it just with a simple staple gun and some duct tape. If you want, you can use some wood slats across the ceiling. That'll really hold it in place real strong, but the staples and duct tape are gonna work just fine for me. Here I'm creating walls for the area I want sectioned off from the rest of my house. Like I explained, I want those fumes to be able to be exhaust out the front and not going into the house. Now that I've got the top secured, I'm gonna bring in a couple two by fours and these will actually just kind of help out with defining the wall. So what I'm doing is I left enough uh, extra on the plastic that it'll actually drape underneath my vehicle. I'm gonna put these boards along the edge of the wall here and this just kind of helps keep the plastic from moving around on me, creates a nice wall. Here I'm cutting an inlet and I'm gonna put a filter up here and no, my, my paint booth is not airtight, but I wanna encourage and kind of direct the airflow the direction I want. So this is a nice filter that's a dust and pollen filter. It's not real expensive, it was only around $5. This is gonna be an area to let in a little bit of fresh air. And then what I'm gonna do on the day I'm ready to paint, I'm gonna install the exhaust fan by cracking the garage door open a little bit. And then I have a nice box fan down here. And I'm just gonna tape sections of cardboard up to uh, block off the rest of the opening here. Turn this exhaust fan on high and that'll be my exhaust right there. And over towards the front, I've got a little opening here. So here, I'm, all I'm gonna do is roll this up real tight, and then I've got a few clamps down there. I'm gonna clamp that off. My air hose will be coming in down a little opening under there, and I'll be ready to paint. So honestly, just a few big sheets of plastic, staple gun, some duct tape, a filter and exhaust fan, and I've got myself a nice little paint booth. This will work just fine for me. Be sure to follow along so you can follow me as I go through the paint and prep of all of this, putting my primer on, picking the color. This is gonna be a fun project. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day.